Now to the botanical equivalent of a pet dinosaur, the discovery of the Wallamai pine, a plant from Jurassic times believed to be extinct. This is the botanical find of the century. When it's more Australian <laughs> than Sydney Harbour Bridge, it just reeks with charisma. A collection of prehistoric pine trees has gone up for auction, with collectors paying big for a piece of living history. Nature lovers finally had the chance today to create their own Jurassic Park with the auction of the first trees grown from cuttings of the world famous Wallamai pine. Pine. An auction of some of the rarest plants in the world has raised more than a million dollars to help preserve the trees in the wild. They were the first group of Wallamai pines to be grown from the trees that were only discovered just over a decade ago. To find it was a great surprise, but now to make it available to everyone to see the romance of it and the excitement of it and the thrill of it and the perspective that it gives you about life on Earth, uh, well, it's a thrill. And I think we should be jolly grateful to the Australians for letting us have one. One of the oldest rare plants in the world, the Wollamai pine is now available to gardeners in Britain. In 1994, in a remote Australian canyon in the Blue Mountains of the Wollamai National Park, explorers discovered a grove of 40 ancient trees thought to have been extinct for at least two million years. The relatives of these trees once covered a large part of the Southern Hemisphere. These last few remaining survivors are now amongst the rarest living things on Earth. Their discovery is the botanical equivalent of finding a dinosaur alive in the 21st century. Since 1994, the exact location of the Wollamai pine has remained a closely guarded secret. Uncontrolled access to the canyon could bring disease or fire and push the tree over the edge to extinction. A global conservation project has been put in place to ensure these trees are safe from extinction and we want you to become part of this project. Here you can see the young Wollamai pine, children of those growing in that remote canyon in Australia. By purchasing one of these trees today as a gift for a friend, colleague or relative or to grow in your own garden, you'll be helping to ensure the continuing survival of this unique and beautiful tree. The Wollamai pine is a striking evergreen tree and as such maintains its graceful fern-like foliage throughout the year. It has apple green new growth which contrasts beautifully against its blue green mature foliage. In winter its dominant buds are covered in a decorative coating of white resin known as a polar cap. As it grows it produces bark which has been described as being like bubbling chocolate. It's a low maintenance plant and really easy to grow. It will survive temperatures down to at least minus five degrees and probably minus 12 degrees Celsius. And at the other extreme, it will tolerate heat in excess of 40 degrees Celsius. It can be grown in sun or partial shade. It can even be grown for short periods of time indoors and kept as a house plant. And it can be grown in a pot or container and looks great on a patio. The wool of my pine requires only moderate amounts of water and responds well to pruning. As much as two thirds of growth can be pruned at any one time, so you can keep it to whatever size suits your location. Or you can grow it outside without any pruning whatsoever and it will form a beautiful garden tree. It prefers acid soil but will happily grow in lime or chalky soils. And the wool of my pine really is one of the most versatile trees you could ever find. Each precious tree comes with a special certificate of authenticity. A booklet which contains everything you will ever need to know about growing and caring for your wool of my pine. And a pack of root stimulating fungi which will help keep your tree vigorous and healthy. The wool of my pine is one of the oldest and without question one of the rarest plants in the world today. 
You now have the opportunity to play your part in bringing this tree back to life and breathing life back into it most importantly. We've got some stock of it available now. You can grow this in your garden outdoors. They are winter hardy, so down to minus six, they're perfectly fine in the UK. We suspect they're probably even hardy lower than that. It's a fantastic tree. So if you'd like the wool of my pine, this is the time to get it. It's a fantastic opportunity to play your part in this plant's heritage and to really make a difference. Uh, I, I think it's uh, a, a really fascinating plant and we're delighted to have it and uh, it's amazing I come in here virtually every day to see how they're doing, my babies, my babies, my babies. Seeing how they grow and to see this uh, new foliage come up every year, this lovely lime green foliage. You'll see that will go darker as the season goes on and harder for the, for the winter. And then up it pops again.